News Weather Team, sponsored by AC Designs. Today we had a high of 78 degrees at the airport. A very warm day. Yes, it is warmer than what's normal for January here. Normally we're in the middle 60s, so it was warmer by 13 degrees, but it was not a record high. The record was set back in 2007 at 83 degrees, but still it was a warm day. Now temperatures trying to fall now that the sun has set. We are dropping out of the 70s slowly and down into the 60s. We'll fall through the 60s and through the 50s overnight tonight. Lows will land in the 40s for a lot of you. Now, those of you right along the coast, you could be in the lower 50s, but generally speaking, either side of 47 degrees. So a chilly start to the day tomorrow, and then tomorrow will be much cooler than it was today. Highs will only top out right near 61 degrees. So notice that we get to the 50s by around 9 a.m. The 60s in the afternoon, but still staying chilly, and we'll have a good bit of cloud cover out there, partly to mostly cloudy. Now, if you are heading to Nashville for the game or you have any friends or family who are in Nashville already, this is what they will be dealing with. They're going to be dealing with the 40s. Our Jags playing in cold weather out there. Wind around 12 miles an hour out of the west. So at least it's not as cold there, here as it is there. Now, if you are a space nerd like me, we do have a SpaceX Falcon 9 launch tomorrow at 4 o'clock, but with the clouds out there, it could cause some visibility issues. We'll keep a close eye on that, but again, if you want to try it, Sunday, 4 o'clock for a SpaceX launch. And while we are on the topic of space, the ULA Vulcan Centaur launch has its maiden flight. The Vulcan Centaur has its maiden flight at 2.18 a.m. That's Sunday night into Monday morning. So if you want to stay up late or wake up early and watch it, it will be chilly out there still watching for visibility issues when it comes to the clouds because it will still have good cloud cover out there on Monday. And then later on Monday, that's when the rain arrives. It will arrive in the evening and overnight, and that will bring a storm risk with it. And some storms could be strong or severe, and that risk will continue into Tuesday as well. Besides the storms on Tuesday, it will be windy out there. We'll have winds sustained around 30 miles an hour, gusts 40 to 50 miles an hour, and it will be warm again back in the middle 70s. But the main thing we're focusing on, the storm chances. So starting Monday night, night we could get some thunderstorms out there that already bring the risk of severe weather. The extra punch though, the highest risk of severe weather will really arrive with the cold front on Tuesday. Right now the timing leaning towards Tuesday afternoon and Tuesday evening. But again, Monday night through Tuesday, the risks we'll have to watch out for damaging wind, isolated tornadoes and hail, even some heavy rain out there too. So again, Monday night into Tuesday, that's a risk of severe weather. We're going to watch it closely. Now behind that, we cool right back down drop out of the 70s down into the upper 50s on Wednesday. It stays cool for Wednesday and Thursday, and then we're back to 70 on Friday.